I think for us, um, we try to stay true to our roots. You know, we started as that small town clinic um, and we have grown. Um, we're very proud of our growth and uh, the services that we can provide, um, but we like to still be thought of as a small town clinic um, and just having that rapport with our clients. COVID really put a strain on the veterinary industry uh, all across Canada actually. For us specifically being such a large crew um, and that panic in the beginning of COVID and not knowing what that meant, it was important uh, to keep the staff safe and also to be there for our clients. Um, so within about a day we decided to become 24 hours. Uh, we even had doctors coming through the door with their sleeping bags under their arms um, to also help out because of the smaller clinics, uh, North Island even, that had to either close or reduce their hours. Um, we were able to staff it so all our staff could stay employed and be there for our clients. Um, you know on the flip side of that several months into COVID now um, you know it was important that we were there for our community uh, and now you know our team our team it's we're focusing internally now on our team and taking some steps back to make sure that um, we can be our best selves to continue to care for the pets in the valley. I think for us it's just building that trust with our clients um, and being not afraid of change um, and always looking for what's next. You know we've been doing this for 20 years and we're very well established um, and being a part of the community is is a personal passion of mine um, and it's not just animal related but people related um, and it almost feels like a sense of responsibility in the community to kind of be that larger clinic and, and to touch um, people and how can we help. You know, customer service has always been very important for us and that's part of our culture and who we are as a vet hospital and, and during COVID a lot of us were struggling with, you know, the restrictions that were put on the hospital and how that played to customer service. So we were feeling like this year was, was a tough year for us uh, to meet our own expectations. So to be nominated, wow, you know, our team worked exceptionally hard this year. So it just really validated the hard work that we did and hey, you know what, we're still, we're still keeping up with the expectation that we put on ourselves. Thank you.